guys, welcome back to Live Your Style. I'm Shara, if you don't know. And today, I'm gonna be helping you guys create a truly inspiring office space. Whether you guys have a desk or a cubicle or an entire office to yourself, hopefully these tips and tricks will help you guys really truly create a beautiful inspiring environment and a place that you can stay motivated and um, just really get the job done. Your office layout really does have the power to affect your productivity, so I'm gonna give you guys some tips that will help your office space work for you and not against you. Now before I jump into this video, if you guys have not heard of the Live It Journal subscription, it is my monthly subscription that I just launched last week, this week. This is the first week, I'm filming it a little early, but this is gonna be the first week that we are launching officially. So if you guys are watching this video, you guys are able to sign up and you will instantly receive the journal entry that goes along with this video to help you guys apply and implement all the things I'm teaching today into your own specific spaces, in your own specific office. So it's kind of a way for me to kind of step into your life, into your home, into your office, and give you the tips that I would give any other friend or client and just kind of help you guys work through um, um, what is the most beneficial for your space and how to make it look beautiful and inspiring because that's the whole point of today's video, right? So if you guys have not already signed up for the Live a Journal, I will link it below. You guys can click the link and go sign up. And if you guys have not subscribed to this channel, you should leave a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because we love new subscribers. And once upon a time, we were talking about getting to 1 million subscribers this year. We're still on that goal. We've just been focusing on the Live It Journal launch because that's been so exciting and fun. But if you guys are new, please subscribe because we love growing the Live Your Style fam and we love new subscribers. I mean, the only other thing I could say is go follow me on Instagram, that way you can see more of my dog. But a lot of you already do that. So why don't we just jump into this video of how I can help you make your office more inspiring. Today's question is, what kind of workspace do you work in? Are you a student, so you're in a classroom? Do you have a desk at home? Do you have a cubicle? Do you have your own office? Do you have a home office like I do? I wanna know, where do y'all, you don't have to tell me where you work, but just like what's your office environment like? Leave it in the comments below. Number one, keep it bright. If you have the ability to put your desk uh, by windows, I recommend doing that. Um, that is something that is so important to me. And you guys know, you, a lot of you probably just saw the video I did with Alicia and Ashley, um, and I redid their office. There were windows on like two of the three walls, and it's just so much brighter and happier. And just something about light, it just like allows you to be a lot more productive and creative. Um, if you do not have the option to put your desk by windows, then try to add some light, maybe with a lot of lamps or overhead lighting or things like that. Number two, speaking of lighting, add some mood lighting somewhere in your office. So for me, I love these dreamy string lights. I put them up for Christmas two years ago um, because they were you know, needed to make it like a starry night for Christmas but I kept them up forever. Like, I have not taken them down since Christmas from two years ago. So, um, honestly, they are, they're super cheap. I got them on Amazon. I will link them below if you guys wanna check them out. Add some mood lighting, create the ambiance. It really, especially if you guys are working like late at night or if you guys are in college, this would be so good for a dorm room um, because they're nice to fall asleep to. So if you're like sharing a room with somebody, they wouldn't mind if you had to have these on while you're studying, you know? Anyway, I love them, totally recommend them. Big game changer for an office. Do you care that you can see your diet coke now? No. I'm telling the world. I'm telling the world I'm back on the Not drug. addiction. You know what? I've been editing a lot of videos a lot lately. Also, that's probably why you're tired. You have sugar, you have sugar and then you crash. This isn't sugar. Why is it not sugar? Because it's diet. It's still whatever is in there. You don't crash on aspartame. What is that? <laughs> that's the sugar that's... That's why it's you so bad for you. Why would Diet Coke make you crash? Does anyone know? Anywho, number three, if you guys, again, do not have windows around your space or if you're in a cubicle, um, I recommend putting calming pictures of big landscapes. So maybe doing like an open field or a landscape of the ocean or something like that. I think that'll kind of give you the illusion that you're outside and maybe allow for some positivity and peacefulness, which is always helpful if you guys are stuck in an office all day long. Um, and, you know, it's just a space for you guys just to have some color influence and just add some life to your walls. 
Number four, this is by far one of my favorite things and like a pet peeve when I do not have this on my walls, display large visual calendars. Um, you guys could do a large visual calendar for the sake of it being like an art piece like I did in Alicia and Ashley's office, or you guys could add actual like whiteboard calendars. Um, I love the calendar, I have the black and white one I put in the girl's office. I don't have that in my office just because I don't have the space, but I do have a very unique space where I put my gold and white whiteboard calendars that I found at Target. I will link those below as well if I can find them for you. Um, but they're awesome. They're whiteboards so we can clean them every month and add all the new stuff on there and you don't have to buy new ones all the time. You just buy the one and change it up. But it's a great way just to see all the things you have going on for the week. You guys can add personal stuff to it. You can add deadlines that you have. Um, excuse me. <laughs> that darn aspartame. <laughs> Oh dear, sorry. <laughs> so sleepy. <laughs> Elena's like, like crying. Like, well. They are perfect because they tell you what you need to accomplish, what you have accomplished, um, and they keep you on time and on track and motivated, which is important. And you can color coordinate with different markers, like Elena does, because she's perfect. Also, a quick tip when you are writing on these things, I prefer to use extra fine tip markers for my whiteboard because when you don't use the extra fine ones, it's just really hard to write in the small little squares. You know what I mean? So I can link this too as well. Number five, keep fresh flowers around. This is a great way to make sure that you have something living and fresh in your office space. Um, there's something about having pretty pink or white flowers, or even if it's just greenery. It's just a really great way to make your space feel personalized and like you, I don't know, took an extra step to care for your space and make it look and smell beautiful. Number six, make sure that everything has its place. Okay, I am totally guilty, actually currently guilty, of having things that do not live in their own place because after, you know, you get all organized and you live it for like six to eight months, if you lose the self-discipline of putting it back where it lives, then it ends up becoming a mess. So not only do you need to make sure that everything has an allocated place, so you know where your pens go, you know where your books go, you know where your loose papers go. Have a file that's just for loose papers if you don't have time to maybe organize them. Put them in that file and then go back to it later. Um, if you guys have a place for everything, you know where it lives, you know where to get it, you know where to put it back, and then train yourself, even if you don't feel like it, even if you're tired, to make sure you put that thing back in that place. It takes 21 days to create a habit and only two days to break a habit. So stick to it, make yourself put things back. This goes for your room as well. If you can hang up your clothes, your mother will love you. And so will your future husband or girlfriend or roommate or whoever. So just make sure that you guys are putting things back where you know that they go and give them a home. That way you know where to put them. Does that make sense? Which leads me to number seven, which is have a junk drawer. Just like having kind of like a loose paper file in your file folder, create a junk drawer. So when you have things that you're not really sure, oh, this needs a place or needs a home and I don't really have one for it yet, or I'm running out the door and I don't wanna lose this, have a box for me, I have a box for you. You could have an actual drawer, whatever works in your office space and just be okay with that specific spot getting a little messy. It's kind of like having a cheat day. If you give yourself a little corner of your space to be messy and you put everything in that and you limit yourself to that and you train yourself to limit to that, you will allow your office to stay clean and tidy and organized and it puts you in a routine of putting things back where they came from and also taking time when you do have the spare time to organize your junk box or junk drawer and put things back where they came from. That sounded repetitive, but that's okay because you get the point. And last but not least, number eight, display photos or pictures of things that inspire you. So for me, I have my color palette on the wall over here because obviously for me that keeps me on track and also motivates me creatively to know kind of what colors to stay in when I'm working on business stuff. I also have pictures of family, pictures of Tyler and I and of Scout, um, people that I love and adore. And then I also have a lot of different phrases. So depending on the time of year, um, sometimes I'll have ones that are like specific to the holiday. And then sometimes I'll have like motivational quotes and I think those are really great because I don't know, it just keeps me on track and motivated and like I can do it, which is always a good feeling when you're working. And I also in my office do have a couple different pictures of nature. So if it's summertime, I usually have more like beach inspired pictures, either of just like a landscape of it or sometimes like trips that we've taken that are more 
beachy um, that Tyler and I went on. And then also I sometimes switch it out in the fall time to more of like a forest landscape or a field landscape. And that just kind of like switches up the mood and the vibe of my whole office. And just, I don't know, feels good. It feels creative, it feels colorful, it feels motivational. All those feelings and vibes you really want in your space. So having them on your walls, you guys can put them in frames, you guys can put them on a bulletin board, uh, just depending on your space, but just make sure that you guys have things that inspire you that are on the walls around you. So those are my eight tips to help you guys become ultimate boss babes. I hope that these small things will help you guys when it comes to decorating your offices or your desk or your dorm rooms or whatever. Um, and I really hope that helps you guys become more motivated and hopefully more productive. If you guys would like to dive into this subject deeper and you guys would like specific help on how to implement this in your own spaces, you want goal trackers, some tidbits of information on what color palette is best for your office depending on what type of mood or focus level you're trying to tap into, you guys should check out the Live It Journal for this week because it is awesome and it walks you through all kinds of different elements of your office and not just your office. We do talk about self-motivation and ways to keep you guys accountable and what are the things you want to be motivated in and where are you looking for your life to go and it just gets really fun and deep and exciting and just like awesome like everything you'd want in a journal is what is in this week's entry so you guys should sign up and join the community we have a private facebook group um, you guys can join that and get into that conversation it's awesome everyone engages and shares uh, projects that they're working on and things that they need help on i am in that group as well and i comment back to a lot of you guys so that's really fun. And we also do a private Q&A for that group every single month. So if you guys have questions, that's where you can ask them. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Click the link below to sign up for the Live It Journal. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you leave me a comment. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Beep 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 beep.